Hello and welcome to the video. Today I'm going to show you how to fix this error. This site cannot be reached. The connection was reset. Hope you find this guide useful. If you do, please help me out by subscribing to my channel. Now you'll see this error message when you go to um, a website and it affects all browsers to so Chrome, Internet Explorer, Edge. So the first thing we need to do is work out is it the website that was prob uh, where the problem is or is it your computer accessing all websites? So if we just pretend that BBC was the website that I had an issue getting to, uh, what you need to do is go to another website. So that's still BBC. So if we go here, Twitter and also YouTube. So we can see here, Twitter's loaded. So we know that your machine has got internet access. So it's more likely to be the actual BBC website. Uh, but if you cannot get to other websites as well there's a few more things that we can check so if you click on the three dots on the top right and click on new incognito window and then go to the website uh, this might work because what this window does is it's um, a private browser so you won't have any cookies or cache in this session so it's like a brand new um, installed browser uh, another thing we can do is if you've got another browser on your machine, so I've got Microsoft Edge, load up Microsoft Edge, and then go to the website again, so bbc.co.uk. So the page is loaded for me, but if you did get that error message again, um, it's more likely to be an issue with your machine or possibly the network that you're on. Uh, so the first thing that we can do is if you click on start menu, type in control and then click on control panel. And when that comes up, type in network into the search. And then click on view network connections. So we can see here these two network connections are not active because they've got the red cross in there. This is the network connection that is active. So what we need to do is right click on there, go to properties uh, and we need to change the DNS um, for your network. So what you need to do is Internet Protocol version four. Uh, just left click on that, click on properties and down the bottom here where it says use the following DNS server addresses, just put 8888 and then click on OK. Uh, what that's going to do is, so this DNS, when you, when you put it on automatic, it's going to use your local ISP as a DNS server. Uh, what we're doing here, this is actually the Google DNS server. So it could be an issue with your local ISP um, DNS server. So once you put that in, just press OK. I'm actually going to cancel out of this and I want to make the change and then press OK again. Uh, close down the browser and reopen your browser and try and get to the website again. If it doesn't work, we can do a network reset. So if you click on start menu, click on the cog or the settings there. When this comes up, type in check network status and just left click on the drop down here. And what we can do is we can do a network reset here and then click on reset. So that's basically just going to yeah, just reset your network connection back to the factory defaults. Uh, so we try that, close down your browsers, open them again, and hopefully that has fixed the issue. Another thing is to clear your internet browser um, cookies and cache. So if you click on the three um, dots there, more tools, clear browsing data. So this will pop up. Time range, I, I always select uh, last hour, but you could do all time, 24 hours, or whatever you want to do. Um, so I, I'd do <coughs> last hour and then click on clear data. So once that's done, again, close your browser, reopen, try and get to the website again. Uh, and the last thing that I, we can do is it could be your antivirus that is actually blocking the connection. So I've got AVG. So what you can do is you can actually right click on the item here and you can actually disable. You can see here it says protections on. 
you can actually tick that box that's going to disable the antivirus temporarily for you um, so just do that Cl again close the browser reopen and hopefully you'll be able to get to your website so I hope this has helped you out. Uh, please let me know if it did help you out or not. I'd be very interested uh, if you could post in the comments. Uh, but thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.